We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this HP M401 printer and we're going to take a look at some common causes of paper jams. More specifically, we're going to be looking at paper jams that are caused because of issues inside of the paper tray. So we're going to go ahead and remove the paper tray. Then I'm also going to go ahead and remove the paper from the paper tray. I'm going to set that up here for a second. Now if you look inside the paper tray, you'll notice there's these three adjusting tabs on three sides of the paper tray. And what there's a for is for adjusting this paper tray for whichever size paper you're specifically using in this tray. So it's very important that those tabs are set on the little indicators for the exact size piece of paper that you're using in this tray. You don't want it to be a little bit below that mark or a little bit above that mark. If you have these adjusters set incorrectly, what can happen is it can either A, make the paper way too tight inside of this paper tray if it's set for a smaller piece of paper and the printer's going to have a harder time pulling the paper through and b it's going to if you have it set for a larger piece of paper then it can allow the paper to shift back and forth inside this paper tray again making it very difficult for the printer to pick up the paper correctly and giving you those paper jam errors so very important to make sure that you have all these little indicators set for the exact size piece of paper that you're using so in our case, we're using a standard 8.5 by 11 or letter size paper. So all of our markings are set on 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. So the next thing that we see quite frequently is from adding paper into the paper tray. And what happens is there's a little bit of paper left inside your paper tray and you're adding another stack of paper on top of it. And when you set the paper down and push it into the back, you get a couple pieces of paper that fold up and kind of roll into the back of the paper tray. So what will happen is, just like having this adjuster set for a smaller piece of paper, having that paper rolled up is going to squeeze this paper into the paper tray, and it's going to cause it to be way too tight, and the printer's going to have a really hard time pulling that paper through. So very important whenever you add paper, just to take a quick second and check all four sides and make sure it's a nice even stack on all four sides, and there's no paper curled up anywhere. If you do see any paper curled up somewhere in there, please go ahead and remove those couple sheets of paper, or one or two, however many they are and make sure it's a nice even stack and go a long way as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you get. So one of the other things that we see from adding paper that causes paper jams is overfilling this paper tray. So if you look on the sides here, even on the back, there's little tabs that stick out into the paper tray and those are your like maximum fill indicators. So that gives you an idea of the maximum amount of paper you can put inside this tray. So if you fill past these marks or if you try to shove as much paper in here as you can even if you can kind of push the edges underneath those marks then what's going to happen is you're, you're going to have a big hump of paper here in the top and again it's going to make the paper way too tight up against the paper pickup assembly inside the printer and it's going to have a really hard time pulling it through so if you notice that please just try to re or not overfill this paper tray uh, generally i would say leave a small gap between your top sheet of paper and these little maximum fill guides here um, that'll go a long way again as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you're having. And the last thing, if none of that's helped reduce the amount of paper jams you're getting and you've had this printer for a while and either you've never had it maintenance or it's been a while since you've had it maintenance or you just use it really heavily maybe and it's ready for more maintenance, um, there's a good chance that the roller that's inside of the printer that picks up paper and pulls it through is actually worn out and needs to be replaced. And if that's the case, please feel free to give Onyx a call. We'll love to help replace that for you. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd we'll love to help try to answer this for you as well. And if there's any way we can help supply with any of your printer or office supply needs, please feel free to reach out and we can love to help supply this for you as well. We hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, Contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.